Roll them, roll them, they're right there. In one of Hired to Hunt's craziest days of field yet, I take a group out goose hunting on a warm late October afternoon, add having to do a live TV segment between 5.30 and 6. And then what, do I, what am I supposed to do? There's no birds yet. With a 20 minute window for the geese to show up, added more stress to an already hectic workday. To top it off, when the birds did roll, the live feed was cut. Hmm, at least the hunt went well. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27 year old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. There's just never, ever a dull moment. Now, I don't know if drama surrounds me, finds me, comes to me, or what, but it just, it just happens. And this is drama in a good way. So, backing it up to last July, the guys at Wild TV said, hey, we want to do a live production. And I go, okay, cool, live sounds cool. But little did I know live meant that we had to have cameras that would broadcast from the field to the network. So now we're dealing with basically an iPhone that's gonna broadcast the signal during a 20 minute window when these birds are supposed to fly on an evening that I'm scheduled to hunt on one of my hunts. So, you know, my mind's fast forwarding at this time going, all right, well, if we can pull this off, it'd be great. If we really pull it off, it'll be a miracle. And if we have a great hunt, well, that'll just knock it out of the park. So of course, Everything was going smoothly until the feed got cut. And what happened was my girlfriend actually called during those 20 minutes that we were broadcasting. So it kicked out the feed. And of course now I've got birds on the approach, I'm trying to reconnect the, the, the broadcast and the live feed, I'm trying to maintain my composure so the clients don't think this is totally crazy. And of course this is all happening while birds are coming. So. To put it bluntly, the birds came, some of the birds came during the broadcast, and I've never even seen the broadcast. I heard it was a bit of a shaky disaster, because you know, I'm trying to call, I'm trying to look out for birds, I'm trying to push the door open, then I've got to run out and get the birds that are down and bring them back, all the while trying to stay connected. There is a lot going on, and you don't even realize it when you're guiding, because you know, doing the calling and monitoring the birds and chatting with the clients and keeping them calm and focused while the birds are on approach, we do that naturally every day. But when you throw a camera into the mix and an iPhone stuck in your face and, and now you're trying to do this with one hand, it was, it was amazing how much I felt out of control doing the things I'm normally in totally control of. So anyways, lots of fun. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I had fun filming it. We had a lot of fun making it, and uh, it ended up being a really good hunt. So, enjoy. And we're gonna hunt out of an upright blind right here. Uh, a bunch of the geese fed right, right here. There's I don't know 1,500 of them, uh, maybe 2,000 little Canadas, a uh, handful of ducks, and some big Canadas. So, lots has to click to make this work. Uh, the birds have to come back. The birds have to decoy. The only small thing I'm a little bit worried about is they were feeding about a quarter mile from here in the same field and I don't know if they ran out of food there but they all got up and they settled in here so we're hunting them where they finished fingers crossed let's do this and you guys haven't been to Canada before have you or okay so this like you experienced the duck hunting this morning kill him kill him There we go, guys. We want you to experience a great goose hunt tonight, right? This was loaded. And, and if you go walk around, you'll see footprints, feathers, and droppings anywhere from 15 or 20 yards off this edge, 200 yards that way, and probably 200 yards that way, and 200 yards out, right? So they, they got in here, they grazed and fed, and there's quite a few of them, little Canadas and big Canadas. So what we're gonna do is, because they set themselves up here, rather than be out in the middle,
But anytime you get into the cover, it's even better. So these birds, if they come back, really set themselves up for a smashing, right? So we're gonna set up the upright blinds just right behind the, where the trailer is there, and I'll explain all that. And then we're gonna use dive bomb decoys, so there'll be nothing for the birds to look at, right? They won't be seeing us at all. We have some cover. They should be coming from back that way somewhere, and there'll be a few flights coming from this way. There might be a few flights coming because we watched them all go back to roost. Like we were here watching them leave. We call it putting them to bed. So what we'll do first is we'll set up the blind, and I kind of picked a spot. Jay and I were here deliberating all morning after the birds left trying to figure out where we want to be, and then we'll set up the blind. I'll check the wind just before we do that, and then we'll lay out the decoys. We're going to use dive bomb silhouettes, so we're going to put out 25 dozen Canada's for sure, and then maybe a few more specks if I feel we need them. So the wind's northeast now, which is perfect because they're approached this way. They should see the decoys come into a straight in. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> oh, they're doing it, they're doing it. Get ready, boys, get ready, get ready. Hold tight, be patient. If it switches to the east, well then we're gonna be side shooting them and we're gonna load this side up heavy and we're just gonna leave a big loose hole of decoys in the middle and then more on the downwind and, and outside. And those birds will find the hole, like it's amazing. They'll, they'll go in, they'll correct downwind and then they'll just go like this until they find that place to land and they'll set in there. And hopefully by the time they do that, I kick the doors open and- Kill those two guys right there, shoot them, shoot them. It's lights out, it's all up to you at that point, right? We're excited. Ready? Me too. All right, let's do it. Good stuff. All right, cool. We, we have a bit of a natural backdrop, and then we've got this behind us, okay? So we're going to put the blind on the flattest ground we can, like right here, both blinds, side by side. Right now, the wind, you couldn't ask for better wind. It's perfect. The kill hole is going to be right there, but we're also going to dress the back of the blinds very, very well. And then the front of the blinds, we're going to use this cover, but not from here. Once we get the blinds up, you see that, see that tall grass around that point? We can gather that, we're gonna stuff the front of the blinds perfectly. We'll put some trees out in front and if we can get it to look as natural as possible, we'll be happy and we'll shoot birds. Cool? Right on. All right, let's get this stuff out. Whew. All right, cool. Perfect. Okay, so we don't need those decoys, we need these bad boys. The, you've probably seen these if you watch the show. There we go. Yeah, this is, these are the ones I had the other night, so that's good. Cool. Spin them around, guys, spin them around. That's the, that's the back. The doors actually flip down. <laughs> yeah, just find a flat spot right there somewhere, perfect. Just a little gap. Do we attach the two poles? No, 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 no. They just be wide open like that. I gotta run out. You guys reload, I'll run out and pick up. But I have to be able to get out and get out quick so I can get out right here and I won't trip over you guys. Perfect. All right. Looks good. So try not to squish any of this stuff. So what we do is we'll get the real tall trees, drill in and come over the back. And what we'll do, the spruce trees, I'll place those. The spruce trees go in and they kind of curl over us and then they don't, like we get this beautiful canopy without a whole bunch of twigs in our face. And then uh, we'll get the tall trees and then what, what we'll do is the, the fronts, this needs to be perfectly, well, it's pretty good but it's stubble, it's the wrong color. So if you grab that stuff and we'll just weave it in, you don't have to take this away but just add and get it nice and tall. And then when, we, when you're in there, you're gonna be on a bucket. We'll have some trees in front but not many when I kick the door, it's gonna to go to about there, so none of this should be in your way anyways, okay? Cool, let's do it. So, um, yeah, let's, we'll get you guys to worry about the back and the sides right now, and I'm gonna do the, the overhead, the canopy. Like, cause we're gonna have a canopy, and you, you have to sort of be able to see, but yeah. Right. Hell yeah. Yeah, hang on though, before you finish the back, let me get the, I gotta get the spruce boughs in there, guys. Getting ahead of me, you're too fast. Yeah, keep handing me those. Well, yeah, those are great. And anything with a good good curve like that is perfect. That's why we cut them that way. Yeah, beauty, beauty. Thank you. A little bit more overhang here. 
kind of a bald spot right here. That's better. You know this tall grass that they brought? That stuff, we'll drill some of those in the front to give us a bit of depth. You guys used the dive bombs this morning, right? Good, they work good for you? Oh, yeah. Nice. Get ready, guys. Go, go, go. Nicely done, guys. That's, that's the limit. Right now, wind is pretty much out of the north, switching northeast, supposed to go more out of the east by about six or seven o'clock. Hopefully by seven, it's over, right? Hopefully they come at 5.39. <laughs> so get a load of this. We're actually filming a live TV broadcast on Wild TV today. So the birds have to be here at 5.39. Like that'll work. If it does, it'll be a miracle. But anyways, so with the wind in our back, guys, obviously we're gonna get the approach. Most of the birds are coming this way. Now that we have a reference point, the blinds, right? What I like to do with these is I go off that corner. And, and in this case, we can go at a little bit sharper than a 45 degree angle. We can go almost to that truck. And I go 45 yards, okay, off this side. We'll do the same thing about 45 yards off that corner but we can also, we'll curl around the corner a little bit, okay? We'll go kind of the, this blob, will kind of arc to about 50 yards to the outside, and then same with this one. And in the middle here, I want a cone, so the hole about that wide, so 35 yards in front, I want them really loose, like, like 20 feet apart, just so the birds can get in there and find a place to land, okay? And on the other ones, three to six, three to 10 feet apart. Not too tight, just natural. And then winds are light too, so if they do float in, once they're in, they're done, right? Like the other night we had high winds. Bill was so excited he forgot to load his gun the first round. Yeah, he was killing me. <laughs> they did it nice tonight. Oh, yes, yes, they did. <laughs> you guys did kill seven out of one flight yesterday. I mean, that's better than average. That was, that was good. <laughs> well, four of them were tangled in the blind. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get out of the drill. A few more in there. You can actually go almost, like you can go a little tighter in there just to give us a bit more bulk. That won't hurt. Right. It, lots, of, lots of little things have to happen. That's right. And you guys do your part. Life will be good tonight. I like lots of decoys, though. I'd rather have lots of anything we can go little further, like they won't, they won't land right into that edge, right? So we could add some over there just as right. confidence and bulk and hell yeah, I'm definitely taking pictures of this blind. There we go, good thinking. This is the funnest part of the hunt. I love this part of it. You never know, a goose could easily come flying in here anytime, so. So you'll be with me the whole time. You'll just be quiet while I'm on the air, right? And then what do I, what am I supposed to do? There's no birds yet. Hey everybody, it's Claudio Ongaro with Hired to Hunt and we're live in a field somewhere in Canada. Not that this hunting thing's tough enough, but uh, trying to get the birds to be here during this 20 minute window makes it a little bit more complicated. I did hear a few earlier, uh, but anyways, they're not on their way yet. The wind went flat, it's calm, it's quiet, uh, but there's about 1,500 little Canadas and a couple hundred big ones in here. We're using dive bomb silhouettes and the geese fed right up against this creek uh, this morning. They jumped all along in here. So we set up some upright blinds and that's what it looks like right there. So they're not gonna see us, we got good cover. Guys, you want to open those doors? Show them the surprise? There we go, check that out. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so hopefully the birds do it. There's the hole. Typically, you know, when I tell the geese to be here at about, you know, 5.39, they're here, but uh, today they're not. You know, when we're out spotting, we, you know, we see this stuff every day and we see the birds are in here, but of course our hunters and the clients, they don't get to see what we see and, uh, so what happens is 
you know, if the birds don't really cooperate as well as they should, they have no indication of, of what was here before. So very nerve wracking. And until you see the first two flights approach and come in and do it, and they, they know the setup, you know, you know the setup's gonna work. That's uh, that's a big deal. Get ready, boys. Get ready, boys. We're gonna shoot four of them right away here. On the deck. On the deck. Leave the ducks, boys. <laughs> go, guys. Go, 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 go. Shoot them. Shoot them. Going down. Good shooting, boys. That's three. Right. That was losing cabin pressure. Real quick, we're on the way. I don't see any sun's right in my eyes. Oh, right there, right there. Okay, right side, no way. Coming right over the top, guys. There's no wind. Get ready. Get ready, get ready. Where are they? Let them go, 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 let them go. Let them work. You can really come, they'll find the hole. Get ready, right up front. Two geese. We're gonna go on the two. Just go on the two. Get ready. Kill those two guys right there. Shoot them, shoot them. Nice. This won't take long. Oh man, I'm right now. Coming in from the left. Okay, here, let me get here. Let me get here. Big group. Yeah, that's a big group. Okay, big group coming. Oh yeah, setting up, boys. Get ready, boys. Get ready, get ready. Hold tight, be patient. Roll them, roll them, they're right there. That'll do. Here we just kill. Handful. All right, guys. Birds are on the deck. Hang on, be patient, be patient. Let them, let them pass it off. Oh, they're landing out in the deep end. Get ready, guys. Get ready, get ready, get ready. <laughs> Go now, go on it, go on it, go on it. That was nasty, that's okay. Another flight right here, guys. Oh, these ones are coming in. Get ready. A little far. Go, 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 go. Nice shooting, boys. Because we, we probably have 15 already. All big ones came early. Okay, here, here they come. Here they come. Oh, yeah, and they, they did it nice. Here, come, here they come. I was just worried that they weren't coming. So we didn't miss it. Okay, here they come, guys. All right, J-Mo. Okay, we'll talk to you later, buddy. Bye-bye. Okay, he just said it just started. There's nothing in, even in his field that he's watching yet. So we're in good shape, guys. Okay. Okay, their wings are set, guys. Look at that. Small one. There's a couple big ones and little ones. They're going to be right over the top. Get ready. <laughs> you can kill those, kill them boys, kill them, kill them. They go a lot faster than you think. Hey, They're big. Okay, more coming, that's okay. More coming. They were there. Oh yeah, look at these ones, look at these ones. We're golden. You guys religious? Pray for wind. Pray for <laughs> Just pray for wind. Don't pray for birds right now, pray for wind. Just watch the camera girl. You can sit out in the front. Just remember they're there. Just lean. That's good. That's good. Okay, watch it two in front. Watch it two in front. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, ready? Ready? Oh, just wait. Just wait. Ready? 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 Kill those two guys right there. Right there. Right there. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can kill them out there. <laughs> nice <laughs> shooting. Good yeah, and good try. Good try. You know what? It just got messy, right? No wind. No wind. And they're turning around. Did they set down over there? No, they're circling back. Did they go down? No, circling back. Okay, they're coming back, coming back, coming back. Oh yeah, get ready guys, they're gonna be in the hole. <laughs> stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. There's some in the hole. Go right there, right there. No wind, no wind. Dang! Nice shoot, you guys. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> oh. 
The difference between a great hunt and a marginal hunt is wind. Still a pretty damn good hunt. Well, it is, but it, like I just look at how, like the potential for this hunt was. Oh yeah. Epic. Epic. Oh, great hunt. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it is, it is a great hunt. Where's your baby? Right. Okay, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Go now, guys. Go now. That's perfect. Get him, get him. Hey, that one right one there, there. If, he's, if he's a pretty one, one I, okay. let's, let's look at him. Okay. I know I killed him. So. Yeah. Was it this one? Or? Yeah, that one. It was fast and furious. And, you know, tonight with having to do that live television feed with Wild TV, it was, it was crazy. They did it, though. We ended up with 20 of them. Uh, I think 16 or 17 big ones and three or four little ones. And, you know, the, that wind went flat, and then they started skirting us, and they wanted that open side. And, you know, the first three flights that did it, I mean, it was gold in the hole, perfect. It was unreal. So, anyways, you know, the dive bombs did it tonight again, and we, we hunted out of uh, upright blinds. You know, and that, that I'll tell you what, that, that heavy, heavy steel, they whacked them pretty good tonight. I didn't ring a lot of necks, which is always nice, so... Great way to wrap up the day for these guys. First time to Canada. They shot a limit of mallards this morning and 20 geese tonight for four guys. Pretty good. They should be happy. Been a long day. I'm ready to get back to the lodge. And yes, I will have a cold beer tonight. Okay, let, let, don't worry about the decoys. Come take pictures. We're going to run out of light. This is how you make the memories, man. Yeah. Hey? hey? Hope you enjoyed that. That was great, man. There you go. That is beautiful right there. What do you think, guys? Come on, did you have fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you smiling? Yeah, yeah. smiling a little bit. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you got to experience that. All right. Yeah, if you put them on there, we'll bag them. We'll bag them and tag them. Good stuff, guys. You know, that blind, you guys did a great job building and dressing up that blind. And good, good, you know. It's great when you do that. And it's, it's, I mean, I love doing that. It's kind of fun, you know, and it's all part of it, right? You know, every hunt, it's, it's kind of like an artist painting a, like a painting, and if it works, it, it's great.